and I'm back again uh, with another video. So I know lately I've been caught up in a lot of politics and whatnot, um, and I felt like it's time to get back on Star Wars. Uh, I've been lacking in that department. I know you guys have noticed that. My bad. <laughs> All right. So uh, lately I've noticed uh, this hashtag. Um, Decanonize Pablo Hidalgo trending on Twitter, which I just find absolutely hilarious. Uh, <laughs> so uh, apparently, uh, Ichibaka, who uh, is is a really really cool guy, you guys should check out his blog. Uh, he actually emailed me um, a few other things. He has one of my uh, my videos. In, uh, in his blog, so you should definitely check it out. Uh, he's been tracking how Disney has been kind of messing with the Legend Star Wars, uh, the Legend section of the Star Wars fandom, and <clears throat> actively trying to censor us, smear us, uh, do all kinds of nonsense to us. Uh, and He's really been been kind of putting the effort into uh, to starting a WordPress. I had a WordPress from way back that I no longer use, but you know it's good to see that that someone has that much time on their hands to put into it. So definitely check it out. So apparently, what th there was a counterfeit uh, attempt to smear um, Ethan Van Skyver. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, and I saw this, and I could only just just laugh my ass off. So here is the screenshot. SJW Raylo <laughs> fan flashes counterfeit received in failed attempt to smear Ethan Van Skyver. Now Ethan Van Skyver, if you don't know, um, like he's a comic artist. Uh, he's been getting the ire of the comic book community with the whole uh, fandom menace um, and comics gate controversy and whatnot. And he's, but he's been actually doing something about uh, what he finds wrong with the comic book industry and all the agendas that they're trying to pump into mainstream, com mainstream comics. And uh, for that reason, the people, the SJWs despise him. Uh, so here we go. I'm waiting for this article boycotting guy and tell tell your friend Ethan he will be asked about this at Star Wars Celebration. Daisy fan retweet. Here's the image Daisy fan posted. It's so it's so obviously fake. Sup faggot, did I ever tell you about the one time I kicked a tranny in the dick and everyone clapped? This is why the left can't meme folks. They're too busy smearing. I'll answer you now. It's fake. See how there's no timestamp or date? I don't kick women in the penis, Daisy fan retweeting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. What a clown world we're living in. Indeed, it is missing timestamps or a date. Now, this guy, he goes really, like, in-depth when he needs to to research all this crap and put it on one, on one blog. All right, so when looking at the image through imageedited.com, it can't tell if the image has been tampered with or not, but it does tell us it was created today. Okay, April 2nd, and then it's like, but it also tells us to look at the photo and decide if it's, we can place the image through photoforensics.com. We find the image has indeed been altered. Dang, yo. How fortunate for normal people that SJW idiots are perpetrating yet another hate hoax to close the celebration. Looks like normal people will be the ones asking SJWs about this instead during the convention. Because the question now becomes, where did Daisy Fan Tweedy get this demonstrated forgery? I don't know. She, pro she probably could have just, just forged it in Photoshop. Uh, <clears throat> but the fact that this is happening is just uh, just an, another 
you know, just another way that Disney, uh, Disney Star Wars fans try to mess with anyone who does, or just SJW Star Wars fans in general try to mess with, uh, with anyone who has any kind of sense. If if you're famous and you don't and you don't fall in line with the progressive kind of uh, PC agenda being pushed in uh, a medium like Star Wars, then um, you're gonna have people like this coming after you. But where this, what I want to know is, uh, since I'm just coming across, uh, since I'm just coming across this hashtag today, and it's kind of late. <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of confused as to how it all started. And <clears throat> the first article uh, from Ichi Baka that I'm seeing is SJW amazing, amusingly orders backlashers. Enough is enough. Neil Harrington, this is from way back last year, uh, writes another ignorant piece at dorksideoftheforce.net titled Star Wars fans who like Star Wars, the less Jedi aren't real fans. <laughs> In it, he writes, the backlash continues from Star Wars The Last Jedi, blah, blah, blah. Talk to your peers. Um, they've been saying that the backlash doesn't exist. Boyega claims that it's only six dudes. <laughs> so this is, I'm assuming, from when the backlash against The Last Jedi first started. Uh, I guess this is just highlighting that angst. That, Star, that we Star Wars fans had towards Pablo Hidalgo and them sort of, uh, ooh, wow. Yeah, and, and them sort of uh, just trying to diss Star Wars fans, like <laughs> like we're at fault somehow or you know, attacking fans. And Pablo Hidalgo is back with from the nastiest Lucasfilm, Caves of Fandom bashing and still keeps attacking customers. Decanonize Pablo Hidalgo. Huge pops to huge props to Bobby Roberts PDX or spelunking into the Nazis. Okay, blah blah blah. Wow. Online fandom caves and returning with hilarious treasure and meaningful insight. Yeah, then you wonder why people don't like this guy. I mean, I think this is just uh, this hashtag. I noticed that it was suddenly trending. I was try, I was typing something else. Then I noticed that this hashtag was oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> when Disney Star Wars holds up fanboy tears mugs and disgraces Luke Skywalker, the fandom menace enjoys solo box office numbers in Star Wars merch sales. Boycott Star Wars, boycott Episode Nine. Dang, bro. <laughs> I think this this photo pretty much summarizes this hashtag. <laughs> this photo right here, we just basically want to see Dis Disney just stop messing with us. Yeah. But um. Yeah, it was it was really interesting, and this lady uh, who produces these videos, um, I forget what her name is, but she's she's really good. You should also check her her channel out if you get the chance. If you're deeply into Star Wars, uh, Hidalgo defends physical abuse. Yeah, wow, um, what's her name again? I'm subscribed to her. Yeah, but of course YouTube won't, won't show me her newest videos because of you know, the algorithm. I, I, I despise YouTube's new algorithm. I really do. And uh, Stephanie J Janicek, Smugglers Cantina. Um, okay. By the way, guys, I'm now officially on BitChute. Yeah, you should check this. You should check this lady out. She's pretty cool. She has uh, 1.6 subscribers right now, uh, as opposed to 5.7 like I do. But um, she's she has really good videos. Uh, and she she's she's just honest, you know. And I feel like a lot of people uh, aren't. They try to suck Disney's dick. <laughs> they aren't honest or objective. They, they try to suck Disney's dick, like a uh, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, who's that guy I exposed? You see, I can't even remember this guy's name because he's such a ch he's such a freaking shill. Um, Steel Wars. Oh yeah, Steel Wars. 
<laughs> and freaking um uh what's his name yeah you see i can't even remember the other guy's name because <laughs> I, I, I just roasted them so bad in the other one but yeah uh steel wars and, and what's his face yeah definitely check this uh check this lady's channel out um yeah she has some pretty good vids, videos and uh Check this hashtag out. If you're a Star Wars fan, this hashtag uh, is definitely worth following and uh, get, getting trending because right now it is trending off the wall. Um, and uh, shoot, man. Yeah, Ichibaka, props to you, man. Oh, this is brand new. They never listen to Mark Hamill's ideas. Disney Star Wars is dumb. <laughs> the force is patriarchal. But yeah, it's it's ridiculous. It gets so annoying when you have to deal with uh, a political agenda slowly infiltrating into your fandom and that's what they've been doing with uh i think all over all over the board uh they've been trying to j just push this sjw nonsense where it doesn't belong and the fandom has has to step back and be like whoa okay like no you can't do that <laughs> like we're, we're not gonna let you do that uh this happened with uh it, it's a straight up attack it's a cool I, I guarantee you that it's a coordinated effort to uh, attack all forms of escapism um, and all forms of idealism, uh, the most popular forms, at least, that people congregate around, uh, because they they want us to be divided. They don't want a thing that unites us uh, beyond our skin color or beyond our. Uh, they they don't they don't want any kind of transcendent unifying force, whether it's video games, religion, just just any kind of unifying factor fandom uh <laughs> whether you're united by 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 uh your, your common interests or whatever they they want to destroy that and who i mean by they i mean sjw's they want to infiltrate everything uh, patriotism they don't want you to have that because that's you that that unites people you can't have class warfare you can't have have this guy against that guy oh there has to be some kind of angle they can use to say that uh, there's a class struggle, or that um, you know, th there's this person is treated being treated unfairly, giving them a means to slowly sneak in, infiltrate, and uh, destroy the fandom that you like, and that's what happened with GamerGate. They try to portray us as uh, oh, gamers are are, I guess, sexist, racist homophobes because we exposed some girl for uh who slept with some video game reviewer to get her her shitty game a good review <laughs> just uh, or something like that yeah that's basically uh, how how i'm summarizing it but it, it was a huge complicated mess just exposing the corruption uh of the gaming industry and now we're exposing the 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 hidden, well, not really hidden, but the agendas of the comic book industry of uh, Star Wars right now, and the whole film industry, and uh, it, it's it's about to blow up, man. <laughs> it really is. So uh, strap in your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, check out this hashtag: uh, decanonize Pablo Hidalgo. He should be decanonized because of what he did to uh, the Star Wars expanding universe. Uh, the way he treated ex uh, he and uh, the entire Star Wars team have been treating Legends fans ever since. Um, all we have right now is freaking Swotor, and that's it. And the new Star Wars game, I'm not sure if you've seen it, um, the, the Fallen Order or whatever that is, I'm not even sure if that's going to be in the Legends timeline. Because once they bought Star Wars, they, they were just like, oh, well, nothing else is going to be in that timeline except Swotor and like a few other things, but that's it. And that sucks. That really freaking sucks because it's just like people who have been following Star Wars for like 30 years, uh, they, they have nothing else except this one video game left, you know, and, and they have all these old books. That That's it. 
you know, and it's like that they, they don't matter anymore. So basically, we're we're homeless in terms of uh, our feminine in terms yeah, in terms of our fandom. So uh, yeah, if you're a Star Wars fan in general, or if you're just a Legends fan, if you just want to say screw Disney and, uh, and what they're doing with Star Wars, uh, then go ahead. I mean. Honestly, when I was a kid, I thought Disney was uh, was was pretty good when it came to like movies and stuff like that. But but lately, they've just been you know they're just you know pure evil. That's how I look at them. Yeah, and it it sucks. I mean, because all they know how to do is just buy franchises uh, that they have no no business buying. They have no idea how how to run it, and they're, I feel like they're just too big for their own good now. And uh, Eventually, uh, eventually they're they're just gonna run out of things to buy. I guess. <laughs> I mean, they're they're like a they're they're like a leech, you know. And um, I I don't know how else to describe them. Uh, once once you're out of blood, and then it's like on to the next thing to like consume or whatever. It's it's freaking creepy, dude. Actually, uh, to think that we're giving. An organization like that that much power and um, Lucas I uh, you know I pity him but at the same time I'm also kind of upset that he, he just quit and uh, and didn't want to, to fight anymore but you guys already know that anyway it's a boy coast uh, tell me what you think in the comments uh, peace out <laughs>